Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue playing as the Union of Socialist American States. Now, before anyone gets too angry, yes, we are going to finish up this campaign very, very soon. Either today or tomorrow will be the last uh, day for this campaign. Uh, I apologize if anyone thought that this campaign was already over. Not quite, not quite. Uh, we still got to capitulate the Sino Coalition, as well as the Australasian Confederation, and then that'll be it. Uh, I'll let you know for right now, within this campaign, uh, I have just deleted like probably over a thousand divisions of my from my allies and my puppets, just because the game was lagging pretty freaking hard. Like, it was ridiculously hard how bad it was lagging. So, I got rid of a lot of divisions, a lot of French, just mostly, mostly all European divisions. Even though you'll see throughout here that I didn't really delete any of the Union of Britain's divisions themselves. Oh well. But regardless, we are currently waiting for our men to disembark from their boats onto their respective Pacific Islands so we can invade the Australasian Confederation, which will be great, and we can continue on and finish out the campaign. Looks like, uh, after I deleted all those divisions, it really looks like uh, these guys can't really hold on from the Yunnan clique. Whatever. Really not a concern of mine. My real goal in this war with against the Chinese is really capitulate the Shangqing Changguo, whoever these people are, capitulate them, and then finish the Yunnan clique. And actually, we've already separated the this northern Chinese, or southern, or no, central to northern Chinese group off from other places. Cool, they have AOG refugees. Wow, that's pretty good for consumer factories. Didn't mean for that to rhyme, but whatever. I did also put a strategic bomber here, so... You know what, I'm not... You know, I'm gonna do it. Why not? I got four or five nukes. Whatever. So, no problem. Make China a little nuclear reactive. That's alright. They've got probably about a little under a billion population told if you united all of China. But that's okay. That's okay. You guys, come up here. Take these guys out. And you guys come, oh, around here, so. Maybe not up there. Come down here. Come to the southern side. Also, um, so the next campaign, uh, someone said that I probably shouldn't do vanilla. I've done vanilla enough. There's not a whole lot of different interesting things to do, and I, I kind of agree. I wasn't going to use vanilla in the next campaign. I was going to use Road to 56, and the country I wanted to play as, or someone really wants me to play as, has been uh, suggested to me probably before this this current campaign started. So I'm probably going to play as that country, who we all know within two or three days. Um, try to re reform some sort of group. However, uh, there have been suggestions for me to play as a Soviet Union in the Road to 56 mod. Or play the modern day mod, which actually I've not played in a very, very long time. I've heard a lot of people really don't care for uh, the modern day mod, or, you know, modern day. Uh, sorry guys, not interested just yet. But for the modern day mod, I would be interested in it. I don't know yet if the mod itself has been updated where it was supposed to combine with, was it modern day 4 or something? Just the modern world or something like that. I can't exactly remember. So, I don't know if they com combine both mods yet together, or, you know, something like that. I'd be interested in playing the modern day mod. I mean, it'd be really cool to play as, like, from the 1990s, or just, you know, 2001 or two th the year 2000, to, uh, you know, take over the world, or something, you know, establish, like, global jihad and Islam over the world, or global atheism, or whatever religion, or Protestantism, Christianity, Nazism, oh, I just said the N-word, Nazi, whatever. Uh, fascism, communism, socialism, whatever. That'd be kind of cool, though. Try to dismantle NATO, NATO. That'd be cool as well. Or the... I forget whatever the block. This Russian block that they're part of with Belarus now. And some Central Asian states as well. Anyways. Uh, for right now, we don't have player peace conferences on. But I will take... You, you, and you. I'll take as much of Yunnan as I possibly can as well. Cool. Oh, that's disgusting. I'm going to leave that to them then. Uh, I want the border between me and these people. Cool, and that kind of actually fits out pretty nicely. South China was expanded for France, or the Commune of France, and I took the rest of it. Cool. That was actually nice and easy. So now, all we have to do is invade the Australasian Confederation. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. 
I can automatically pretty much just join the war whenever I want. Uh, the Australasians have quite a few ships, so that's why we already have deployed our navy down here. Uh, from here, though, we also have our submarines beginning to make their way down here as well. As we wait for a few of our soldiers to actually get down there, the game is lagging very hard, so I'm keeping an eye on my stopwatch to see if I have to cut this part out. Uh, I think it was, let me write that down where I started, or what number I was at. Oh, well, maybe not. Oh, God, no. Oh, no. If you look at that. It says the People's Republic of China now. Now we've got two competing Chinas at each other's throats. Oh, no, we don't. Oh, actually, just one extremely disgusting People's Republic of China. Okay, I thought it was two different Chinas, but this looks absolutely pitifully disgusting. Oh, wait, I'm still at war with Sardinia. Oh, Sar come, guys, guys, Sardinia. Wait, work with Greek allies. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, why not? Cool. I was going to bomb the hell out of the Australasian, but th these guys, just just get out of here. Ah, very nuclear reactive. Uh, Sardinia, love it. All right, you guys are good. Give me more of your stuff, people. Uh, China, there's a reason why I puppeted you. Puppeted you. And for you guys... Oh, Japan. Pan, thank you very much. All right, so this is disgusting. Um, can I? Yeah, I can't release people because the game Kaiser is like, no, can't release things anymore. And I'm like, oh man. Uh, fate of Northwestern China. Fate of Manchuria. Let's go with Fate of Manchuria. Uh, hand these territories to our loyal ally. Sounds like a good idea. I do know that in Manchuria, the Soviets do have claims on Manchuria, but I don't want to give it to the Soviet Russians. Soviet Union, Soviet Russia, Soviet Russians, whatever. Just because it would be too much power for the Russians to have. I mean, they don't have any of the Caucasus region or down here. They don't have the Ukraine, Belarus, or the Socialist Republic of Turk Turkestan, Turkmenistan. So, I mean, they're already a little weaker than our timeline, Soviet Union, but, you know, still. China's my puppet, and I'm going to make my China, China, huge. Mm. Just finished my coffee as well. My cat in the back named Binky is sleeping on my bed. Mm. Wash your mouth out with water. And this is a disgusting looking China. Wait. Fate of Northwestern China. Um, okay, so with Southwest or Northwest China done, we can liberate Uguria and Zagbi Sanma. Lo liberate a loyal Zabi Sanma, and they'll get 11, it looks like 11 provinces, or we separate both of them. Um, or not. And these territories to our loyal ally. Yep, I want the least number of countries as possible, because basically, Africa freaking exploded, and uh, cause, can cause quite a bit of lag. God, you should have seen the, this terrible lag. The game would literally just freeze for like 3 seconds at a time. As I was trying to record this a little bit earlier, so that's why I just figured, you know what? I'm just going to delete 1,000 units. Oh, they're, oh, they're not even connected! What the heck? Uh, the fate of this area, just give it to our loyal ally. Southern Shaanxi and Shaanxi. Okay, so now they're connected. Fate of Mongolia, actually. Uh, let's see. Yep, yeah, just hand these to our loyal ally. You know, I hope I can give those... You see these central... Asian states, the central Chinese states. I hope I can give this to the People's Republic of China. I love the People's Republic of China. I was hoping that the People's Republic of China, though, would have claims over Taiwan or Taipei here, which they don't. This place, the People's Republic doesn't. Oh, this is disgusting. I don't want these places. Uh, by the way, though, guys, I'm going to move you guys straight south. Um... I need these people to be ready to go immediately, so I'm not going to go to war with the Dutch East Indies, I don't see a point to. Just come to the Philippines, I suppose, and then you come to another part of the Philippines as well or something. You should be okay. And our... God dang it, guys. You take forever trying to get to different places. Actually, for you guys, the fate of Inner Mongolia, transfer to our uh, Chinese ally. I suppose it's this area where my mouse is. The Han, with populations of Han and Mongols alike. There you go. That's This is one hell of a thick People's Republic of China, minus my territory and <clears throat> a little bit of French territory down there. 
led by Pan Q. Pan Q, okay. A little laggy, little laggy, and thankfully France gave their territory back to the People's Republic of, People's Republic of China. Since I'm still playing on patch 1.6.2, I unfortunately don't have the state transfer tool mod enabled, but you know, whatever. Uh, good God, how how are they still being able to defend? I mean, how many more nukes do you have to send? And concessions of China. Sure, you can have whatever you want. I don't really care. Nuke, please. Drop, please. Ah, and they're still going to lose. Great. How great. Uh, let's see. Highway. Wait, where was the places that we gave them? I'm not really sure. Huh. Oh, what was that? Something happened. Oh, they have this now. Yeah, maybe it was Wenzhou. Wenzhou? I don't know. Uh, so we definitely have to invade these areas. Take out Kaiser Wilhelm's land, Solomon Isles, Bismarck Archipelago, and then invade Australasian Confederation proper, and probably invade what was known at one point as New Zealand. So it looks like our allies were trying to invade. Uh, I'm sorry, Greece, but I will get there soon enough. I just gotta wait for my soldiers to actually get ready to invade, but they're not even on their respective islands yet. Oi. I'm not going to help invade Sardinia, okay? Guys, guys, Sardinia, it's only a freaking two-rock, you know, nation. They almost have no manpower. They have a few divisions, and I'm pretty sure all their divisions have got sustained pretty freaking serious casualties. Like, come on, guys. I know I deleted almost all your divisions, but come on. Come on, man. Sorry, Morocco, I was, or Liberia. Love to help out, but not in the cards right now. Looks like the Union of Britain has decided to occupy some of our islands. I am still occupied on one of the Australasian islands over here, but... Buada? Buada? I don't think they really mind. I'm going to give our guys some time to get full organization up. Oh, you could probably use this. A little better radar. We don't really have a lot of knowledge or intelligence regarding these uh, Australasian places. And that's fine. But we definitely will need some better intelligence. So, oh, come on! Oh, we got another nuke. That sounds like it's time to bomb the hell out of Sardinia again. Sure. Before, we, before they lose, let's see. They got okay. They had quite a few full strength divisions, but something tells me with the amount of hurt that Sardinia's Sardinia's divisions have suffered, I don't think they can keep this up. Ah, uh, sure, we'll do that, we'll do that, why not? Why not? Why not? Alright, are you guys good enough? Yeah, you guys are good enough. I'm gonna go ahead... Oh, they, well, they all called me into the war again. Wow. Uh, sure. I'm gonna respond... Oops. To you. Ah, uh, Annie Kenny, hello. Earl Browder accepts your ar call to arms. We are good to go, our ships are ready to fight... And Australasian Union or Confederation, whoever the hell you are, you're gonna die. Wait. Oh, and our allies are <clears throat> allies. Yeah, these are good allies. Japan and Mashriq, they want to help us out. All right. Any any enemy ships? Oh, torpedo tube mine deployment. All right. Um, naval mine damage, I guess. Oh, four Australasian convoys. Oh, baby, what's happening over here? Uh, they have some planes around here. Oh, I do have some extra planes, 400 naval bombers here to use as well, so that's pretty good. You guys, but you guys up a little bit better. Ah, uh, they do have some enemy planes here, though. That's not good. A lot of, a lot of pl Australasian planes here, though. Call in 400 more heavy fighters, just in case. The range on these guys is impressive, though. I want them to do the Solomon C because we don't have very much coverage or any coverage really. Ooh, ladder shooting. Nice. Uh, what's over here? Homing torpedo looks pretty good. Upgrades for a lot of ships for torpedo stuff. Shooting out a lot of planes, but they're probably bombing the hell out of our ships. Which I'm a little concerned about. Oh. Sure, you, you all want to join? I mean, sure, just don't lag me so hard to the point where I can't respond to everyone at the same time. Thanks, guys. Ah, oh, look at all these African states that want to help us. Ah, the People's Democrat or the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. 
I know I could count on you. The Guinean state. Very nice. Oh, looks like the Union of Britain has invaded the Australasian Confederation. That's good. At least our allies did something there. Alright, I'm surprised I haven't seen very much of the enemy's navy. Well, we invaded the ports. That's great. Uh, I'll just make it down here then. And make sure you get that little tile as well. So, Archipelago. Yeah, there's really not much you can do around these different islands. Oh, we, they, we've actually found some enemies around here. Uh, maybe give them a little bit of a buff, see what happens, if you can strike them a little harder. Uh, let's see, just shooting down a lot of enemy planes. They have a ton of enemy planes around here. Oh, and you invaded here too. Great job, guys. Can you guys come over here? No, you can only come that way. And you guys can only come up that way. Oh, did we, oh we lost a convoy. That's not good. Where are the enemy ships? I want more than just convoys. Just keep moving, guys. Take them all out. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Get some planes in here. Wait, where do the Japanese have ownership of the islands? Get some of that. Not sure why Japan owns this. It doesn't make sense. Like, does Japan have claims on this? Oh, I guess they do. I guess that's why. Now nice, we're going to get that province. We're still trying to invade. Oh, God. It looks like some of our guys got really hit hard. The Union of Britain is doing fine by themselves. Hey, hell, maybe this will be the last video in this series. I don't know. But it's about that time again. You see that thing on the top of the screen? Yeah, that's right. Time for a little more nuclear reactive or radioactive uh, Sardinia. I'm going to keep nuking these guys until they literally die, so. Ah, very good. Limited damage, but enough damage was caused. Great, we actually landed. Take you, come up here. I want you guys to come over here, and then move up here, and then Hollandia. Wow. That's definitely something different. Make it you're all the way down here. Port Mosby. Um, sure, whatever. Uh, for you guys, I need you guys to all guard like all these different areas, so. That'd be good. Solomon Isles, over here, over here. Oh, yeah, probably not that area. I'll do it anyways, why not? Cool. Yeah, come down there, guys. You guys got it. You guys got it. Here, you might as well do this. Oh, or not. Build that up. Build, build, build. Infrastructure sounds like a good idea. But then again, a lot of things sound like a good idea. Like capitalism. Good, good, good. Alright guys, you gotta move out before we start taking too much infrastructure, or attrition, I mean. Uh, sure, return Chinese lands. Yeah, you can have it, I don't care. I'm mean, I meant to give every all the Chinese lands to the Chinese, my loyal puppet, so... That really was our goal. And now we're probably transferring all the lands in the world to them, because I am lagging pretty hard, as you can tell. So... Yeah, playing as the Soviet Union in Road of 56 mod sounds like a fun idea. Playing as Trotsky, though, trying that out for a little different twist. And Jesus, they actually took these lands back. I love it. Look how thick China is. One united, totalist China. It's a People's Republic of China. Kind of like our timeline. Except in our timeline, they don't have Mongolia. Well, and... Oh, Sydney's gone. Nice. Uh, the commune of Tibet is gone, too. In our timeline. And Japan doesn't own several different... Chinese places, nor does Legation Cities exist, but, you know, no one's talking about that, and that's okay. Uh, Kash, Kashgar. That sounds similar to Kashmir. Too bad China doesn't have a claim on that. That'd be kind of interesting to see. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I was expecting some sort of major battle between our navies, but it looks like the Australasian Union figured out that it's probably not a good idea to fight us. It's a little disappointing, not gonna lie. A little disappointing. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of factories I, I could get rid of, but nah, I'm good. Turkestan. Sure. Nice, you guys got some more strength back. That's great. 
Why don't you come this way? Why don't you come this way as well? These guys should probably be starving by now, but, you know, whatever. Um, you guys are on patrol. You are on medium. Hmm. Who invaded? Oh, the Union of Britain did. Great job, guys. Great, great job. For both of you... Just come take the... That thing or something. I don't care. Come down here. Come up here. Just take as much land as you possibly can. And you guys... You know what? I'm going to tell you guys to invade. Come from Port Mosby to invade... Towns Hill. Nice. Hey, it's that time once again. How many places can we lose? Alright, Cagliari. You got no manpower left. And I just nuked you again. How much longer will it take for our allies to actually get rid of you guys? How, lo how much longer? Alright, alright, alright. Oh. Oh, we lost something. Oh, we lost the stuff. That's not good. Oh, we did get the airbase. That's nice. I want you to come down here, actually. Take all these little freaking islands. And do a circle. There you go. If you guys can, please do so. Because I don't want... Oh, God. At this rate, the Union of Britain will be getting pretty much all of Austra Australasia back. I mean, Britain did colonize Australia and New Zealand. So, it looks like they're coming back for round two. Colonization boogaloo. So, ooh, actually, how close are they? They're about halfway to capitulation. Great. Um, I don't think I have any armies up here or anything like that. Where are you guys at? You know what? Screw it. Come to North Africa. Because if we have time, I will invade Sardinia. But God dang it, guys. You, this is pathetic. How many planes can I put to help invade? 800. 800 freaking god dang planes are going to come help you bomb the hell out of these guys. Oh, my goodness. How many more planes can I add? 400 more? Oh, I got some close air support, too. I need to use that. These guys are pretty close. Hmm, 400, 800, 1,600, probably 1,600, actually. Oh, you can only do 1,000 at a time, that sucks. I'm going to lower that by 200. Give me another 800, close air support, then. <clears throat> oh, we can go to war with Shanghai. Oh, well, whatever. Come on, guys, stop deploying. You're taking forever to deploy. And we got another nuke, yay! Just... You can't reach the entire island, that's okay. But my goodness. The amount of air damage we should be doing should be insane. I know our allies are going to try to invade again, so I'm just... Oh, there we go. I want to take a look at... Oh, they got quite a few supplies. So be it. Alright, now we can come back over here. Oh, I lost another sub. That's not good. Go ahead if you can. It looks like Australasian Confederation probably isn't going to last for very long. Uh, I'm going to take you off of this. I'm going to put you down here. So we can help out our guys over here. Seeing if they can take out anything. You can find anything. Maybe, maybe not. <sighs> guys, guys, guys. I've added so many planes. Like over 2,000 planes to help you out. What type of damage are we doing to them now with all this close air support? Not that much damage. Wow. Wow. The Tyrian Sea. Not very much. That's kind of pathetic, honestly. Yeah. Not very much. At all. But then again, I guess there's no battle going on, so... Oh. I got another battle going on. Do we have an... Oh, we do have an airbase down here. I doubt close air support planes could actually come down here. Can I not add more planes here? I guess not. Okay. Okay, then. I see what you're doing to me. Add 200 more planes then. 
right now total damage is nine out of five i mean you can add as many planes as you want but you can only add so much because i think the combat width or something the larger the, the used combat width is the more planes that can fit so just throw as many divisions into the battles as you possibly can attacking from multiple different places that would ultimately help you out but then again the ai is well it's the ai so Happy 1950, guys. Happy, happy 1950. We're getting all of our soldiers down here. The Australian Confederation has got to be dying sometime soon. It's got to be. And I'm really disappointed I have not found their navy. Come on, man. I came down here. I came down here looking for your navy, man. And it ain't anywhere close. Um. Honestly? Keep doing this. You will not be doing this. I want you to come over... Uh, I don't know. I need someone to help escort. I think we should be okay with escorting anyways, but... Whatever. Alright. Very good. Very, very good. Our allies are doing one heck of a job down here. Just go crazy. We want to capitulate these guys. Capitulate! Capitulate, capitulate these guys as fast as possible. Because they are now 63% of the way towards capitulation. And this video is probably going to go just a little bit longer than uh, normal. We'll put it like that, yeah. Rocket artillery upgrade, sure, whatever. These guys could probably use a little bit more help. Damage done. Nice. We dealt 25 damage to organization. Current organization is 96. We have dealt 14 damage to strength. The current enemy strength is 55. Please be able to land and be successful at it. Why are you attacking with militia soldiers? That's a terrible idea. Well, at least they're attacking us. God, how do they... Oh, no, this is our guys. These guys don't have very much strength at all. Which is good. Finally, finally, the Union of Britain seems to be doing something. They still don't... They actually have a port. Okay, they have a port that I nuked literally into the ground. Uh... Do I need to nuke anywhere else? Sure, why not? Oh, god dang, I should have nuked this area instead. But with all this extra air support, I mean... We're only doing two points of damage, which really sucks, but whatever. How about up here? Well, the battle keeps going on and going off, it doesn't really matter. Over here, still get nothing. Nice, they kind of separated them off. Maybe they can actually do an encirclement here. Sardinia? He's got a one hell of a stash. Oh, he's General Vittorio Emmanuel de Salvio Astoa. I am definitely not Italian, so... Oh, how the hell do you say that? Alright, how have you guys not capitulate, capitulated yet? Disgraceful. Shameful display. Wait, what the? Oh, it makes more sense to just come up this way. Come on, man. Oh, Brisbane. We need to get Brisbane. One of you, come at the Viking Division, come over here. Come on, guys. Oh, the Australasian Confederation's almost gone and done for. I guess our ally invaded Fremantle? Fremantle? Hmm. Never been to Australia. Maybe it would be cool to go there. And they capitulated. Thank the Lord. Uh, um, let's see. You know what? Since I already took a bunch of Pacific Islands, I'm going to take this. I'll take all these islands or whatever. Kind of worthless, but whatever. Can I take this? Oh, darn it, I can't. Um, oh, I'll take this, too. There you go. Oh, France, why? That's disgusting. Can I take both that? Can I take this, too? Oh, man. No one wants New Zealand. I'll take the top half, and I'll take the bottom half. Oh, why? Why? Oh, no. France, why? Actually, if anything, you should probably... I want them as my puppet, so to confuse the AI, kind of... Wait, return Japanese lands? Hell no. Hell nah. Japan, West Indies Federation. So I'm going to wait for the event to pop up first. And... It's kind of laggy. A little laggy. Oh, the Communist France took it all, didn't it? Come on. Okay, so it's really freaking laggy. 
Jesus. Anyways, um, yeah. For the next campaign, I still have to figure out who I'm playing as. Uh, I have technically on my computer that I am recording all this, all my video on. I made sure I, I logged off of Steam, or at least started it in offline mode, so Kaiserek wouldn't auto-update, so I could still play this. I really haven't tried the modern-day mod or the Road to 56 mod in, like I said, in a long time. But I will try it probably probably today or tomorrow. Oh, there they go. The Australasian Union has been reorganized. Under who? Syndicalist. God dang it. Fred Patterson. Well, better than nothing, I suppose. And it looks like Cagliari has been... Sculptured off. I don't know. Wait, who's... Wait, what? The Union of Burma is justifying against the social status I am. No, no, no. This is the last episode that we're going to be doing. Burma. Burma. No. Burma. This is a bad idea. Okay, so they got 146 days left, pretty much. So we can wait for that. Uh, for the Italians here, I mean, just a couple nukes will definitely put them down. If anything, we actually have a division already over here. Please, just invade Cagliari. One full-strength infantry division from America. Should be good enough. Three three days, that's all it takes for them to capitulate. And can I give... Yeah, we can return lands to them. Yeah, that's fine with me. I really don't care. And, of course, I made the game lag quite hard again. Great. Also, when we do invade, I'm still going to nuke Sardinia. Between the Irish, the Sardinians, and... The Chinese. Not really the Chinese too much. I've nuked the hell out of those two places. Ireland and Sardinia. Ooh. Are we ready to go yet? Not yet. Give me a couple, a little bit more, a few more days. Sardinia. Oh, they're really not close to capitulating at all, but that's okay. I will end their suffering with a little bit of a bomb. Ah, very good. One division attacking basically nobody there, because look at the strength of that. Ooh. Love it. It's almost like just walking in. Maybe shooting one guy or two. But other than that, it's just pretty much walking in. Great. Are they going to die yet? They're going to die. I love it. Uh, do, do, do. You know, I'm going to give this to the Socialist Republic of Italy if I can. Thank you very much. And help. That was better than I thought. Cool. So, um, that's pretty much it. Let's take a look at the world. All the Americas, pretty much, except for the Netherlands. Good chunk of Africa. Good chunk of Europe. Asia. Oceania. We're all syndicalists, or at least all third part of the Third International. One brotherly brotherhood that we can all agree on. A lot of similar stuff, but eventually this will probably turn into what are the differences between our ideologies in which we can hate each other with? I love it. Find ways to attack yourself and your friends and allies. Either way, though, guys, this is finally the end of this goddamn campaign. Uh, I guess I could finally say it, it's finally over. But, uh,. Yeah, I guess this was more of an epilogue to the last episode. Anyways, I I had fun with this campaign. It ran much longer than I thought it would. Uh, but I took out China, Japan, Australasian Union. Made sure the game didn't run extremely laggy at times. But yeah, I had fun. I was definitely a different experience than I was expecting with the combined syndicates of America. Especially with patch 1.0.8. Then to point nine, Then to point nine one. Or something like that. But either way, it was fun. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed it. But tomorrow we're going to start new, which means i got to create some new thumbnails and figure out how to actually play as this country. Uh, but yeah, leave a comment below. Leave a like if you like this series or the video itself. Subscribe if you're new. And like I said, I hope to see you all tomorrow as we begin a new nation in Europe. See you later.